I honestly do not know where I get a sense of being willing to um, uh, be so upfront Christian. I always feel a bit awkward about that because I think um, uh, you got to be kidding. I, I mean, I, I'm not at all sure. Um, I I'm right identifying myself as Christian and so on because I have such a high regard for uh, being uh, for what it means to be a Christian. Um, uh, Mr. Lang, who these lectures were uh, named for, and who who or his father is he, he, the lectures are named for his father. Mr. Lang is here, and um, he talked about when he read with the grain of the university he called me up. Yeah. And uh, he said, do you remember the uh, uh, one of the first questions you asked me? And I said, no. And he said, you asked me, are you a Christian? And, uh, and I did it, and that I do that for a lot of people, because now I think it's quite useful for us to identify ourselves in ways that we can hold one another accountable and we can say things that otherwise we might not be able to say. It changes how things work. So I wanted um, to know if he's a Christian where I could say, then you ought to think this way. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, and he had already uh, thought, uh, I think, in many of the ways I'd like people to think. So um, uh, I, uh, I think that we're coming to a time when we're free again to be um, uh, identified as Christians because that means um, we don't have the power to hurt people by that identification. Mm. And I think that's a very important development. Yeah. Mm. And, but I think, I, um, I think people's um, hesitancy to identify as Christian uh, today, um, it's not like you go around with I'm a Christian on your shoulder. Um, it's that if you are a Christian, you should be joyful in a way that other people find attractive. And so it's not like I go around saying, oh, you ought to be like me. It's that people should think, Gee, I wonder what makes them tick. Yeah. <laughs>